Now let's talk about the peroneal motor. The peroneal nerve is a branch of the sciatic nerve. It splits from the sciatic nerve right behind the knee, goes around the leg, and goes down to the ankle and to the back of the foot. This is the place where it innervates the extensor digitorum brevis muscle, otherwise known as the EDB. As you see, we do it at the ankle, and then stimulate at seven centimeters from the ankle, and then we do it at below the knee and above the knee. So here we go. First, I, I reposition the ground. I like to reposition the ground in this case, and I like to put the ground right here, like so, and I'll keep it like this for the rest of the study. Then I'm going to look at the extensor digitorum brevis muscle. And the extensor digitorum brevis muscle is right here, and it's activating by asking the patient to bring, point their toes towards their nose. Go ahead. And you see how the muscle pops up right here. And that's where I will put my black active electrode right over the muscle, like so. And then I put the red reference electrode right below that, between that and the pinky toe like so. So now I have to measure the seven centimeter difference. And the peroneal nerve is, is right about here. So I will put this here. I'm in the lower extremity. And I see it's written here peroneal motor. And so that hole is right there. So I mark it with the, with the marker pen. And that's where I'll stimulate. Now, it might not be exactly over where I will find the nerve. So I might be moving the stimulator back and forth like this in order to make sure I'm in the right place. So here we go. And again, as soon as I start stimulating, you're going to see her toes moving. Here we go. And we got it. I was right over the nerve, so we got the response right away. And I'm going to give her, and you can see that the toes are moving. So I know that I'm stimulating the nerve, so I was right over it, essentially. So I accept it, and now the computer has put the markers right where they belong. And the next thing I need to do is to study this nerve below the knee and above the knee. So basically, I'm just going to put a, a mark right here where I feel the bone. I'm going to put the marker right here, right below it. And from that point on, for the peroneal, we need to stimulate 10 centimeters above that point, And that's the above the knee. So I put the ruler like this, and I put the marker like that. And that's the above the knee stimulation point. So now I'm going to stimulate the nerve below the knee at the fibular head. Here we go. So now I increase the stimulus intensity a little bit, and I start stimulating. And again, I start getting a response. Here we go. So I increase it a little bit, increase it a little bit more. Here we go, a little bit more. And notice how the foot is moving as I do that. That means I'm stimulating the peroneal nerve. And then I store it. So now I'm going above the knee, right at this marker area. And I'm going to start increasing the intensity. Here we go. And I'm going to look for a foot moving backwards. And actually, I start seeing that. And you see, if you look at the monitor screen, you can see that I'm seeing the beginning of the response. I go up higher, and I press on this. And it's going to get bigger as we do that. Here we go. Now, I'm delivering more intensity. And you see the foot is moving more. But that's really the response, and I accept that. Here we go. And now we have all three responses. Now notice one thing. So now I have to measure the distance between this point and that point, so below the knee to ankle. Because as you can see here, the computer just put the distance from below to above knee, 100 millimeter, which the 10 centimeters that I measured with this ruler. But now I don't have the distance from here to here. 
So notice that the computer has zero for the distance from the fibular head, which is below the knee, to the ankle. So basically, I need to put that distance, which is 32 centimeter, which is 320 millimeters. And that's it. Now we have the distance from the ankle to the muscle, which is 70 millimeter, like we measured. We have the distance from below to above, which is 100 centimeters, like we, we inputted. And now the distance from here to here is 32 centimeters or 320 millimeters. So now I'm going to do the peroneal F wave, and I'll press on the next button to get to the F wave. OK, and for the F wave, I will stimulate at the ankle, just like I did for the peroneal at the beginning. And you see that it's the same setup. So here we go. I'm going to stimulate for the F wave here. And in order to get an F wave, I really first have to get a nice peroneal response right here. So first of all, I'm going to focus on getting a nice peroneal response. I increase the intensity right here. And again, you're going to see that the toes are going to move upwards. Here we go. And sometimes if you're not over the nerve, you can move the electrode a little bit sideways to make sure that you're stimulating over the nerve. Here we go. And the F wave is sort of, again, a very small response, like right here at a distance. So now I see a good one. I accept it. I press the store button, and I accept it. And the F wave is much more sensitive to activation. That means if I'm not getting a good F wave, I ask the subject to activate the muscle by making a fist. Here we go. Make another fist, and now relax. Here we go, we got a nice one. I'm gonna get five or six or so. Make another fist, and now relax. And so this is a nice F wave. I'm gonna accept it and store it. And then I'm gonna try to get another one. Here we go. And now we don't have one, so why don't you make a fist, and now relax, and another fist, and now relax. And again, it's not always gonna be present. So here we go. Make a fist and relax. By the way, this is not an F wave. It's too far away. The F wave should be somewhere around here. So I'm going to stimulate again. Here we go. And make a fist. And now relax. Now that's maybe an F wave, but I'm going to repeat that. Here we go. Now that's a nice F wave. That's number four. And again, and that's a nice F wave, and this is number five. So now I'm done with the peroneal F wave.